Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW F30, F31, F34 and you need to remove or replace passenger side front CV axle shaft. Stay with us, we'll explain guys how to do that. Uh, it takes very short amount of time if you know what you're doing and we're going to share very helpful advices as we go. Another thing, I'll try to sh uh, save you guys five to ten thousand dollars if you have one of those BMWs. Make sure to stand till the end and we'll explain how. Uh, before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys all the tools and parts that we use if you need to buy a new cv axle shaft anything like that we share the links in the description of the video below in the box check it out that way if you need to buy something you know where you can get it from for a really good price and quick shipping as well another thing every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos specifically guys on this generation bmw we're planning on having more than 500 videos why we do that pretty simple guys our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information so let's go ahead start on the cv axle shaft okay that's it right here pretty long now if you have a 320 bmw or a 328 they come with the n20 n26 engine and some years guys are known for failing timing chain and they failed very early mileage guys so we just had another one that we replaced and it failed at 87,000 miles and that can cost you five to ten thousand dollars if your engine is ruined so if you want to see which vehicles are affected and how to remove and replace timing chain complete guide i'll put the link in the description of the video below please check it out for your convenience guys okay next step we are going to lift the car on our uh, little bitty uh, here lift uh, we will put the link in the description of the video below where we get our lift from so uh, let's go ahead lift it up now and uh, we are going to uh, work underneath guys for a little bit of time now okay let's go now so this is super convenient guys lift you can see very quiet, quick, lift it up enough to get a creeper underneath and do things under the car so uh, makes it super super convenient by the way. Okay, it has two safety stops, just jump the first one, now it's going towards the second one. Alright perfect that's it okay so let's continue with the next step now so let's show you guys what we'll be doing next okay right here that's the engine splash shield that we'll be removing okay this one the cover towards the back okay we'll show you uh, how to do that how to get everything out of the way if you need to so uh, we're going to get eight millimeter socket okay eight millimeter socket here and uh, we're going to start on it so 8 millimeter socket and we are going to go ahead start on it now okay you can see we're towards the back that quick jack is amazing guys we'll put the link in the description of the video below where we got it from it gives you enough room to work on your vehicle so you can use it in your car garage at home because big big lifts you cannot lift it all the way they're really hard to install this one you can just move it wherever you need it to be So quite a few bolts that we're removing, you can see, very very long splash shield. that side one more perfect I think after that point we just have the ones towards the front that go towards the bumper actually okay I'm gonna support it with my foot a little bit so it's not hanging not to break it right And one more. 
Careful, always use eye protection because there is sand and dirt dropping here. Okay, let's pull it out. Okay, that bottom piece came out just like that. So now for the transmission guys, plus shield, okay. Uh, we need it to remove the other one, okay, so we can get to this one now, otherwise you cannot remove it. So, uh, two bolts with 10 millimeter socket, okay. Two bolts with 10 millimeter, we're removing now. Wow, and the other one is all the way towards the back, check it out. Oh, those are nuts, let me see, was that a nut or a bolt? right there okay okay that's a nut nuts guys two nuts with uh, 10 millimeter okay now we need to get the 8 millimeter and we have uh, quite a few that we need to remove here all right So we're almost there. I think we have three more. Always watch your eyes. Things will fall, dust, dirt. Support it with your leg if you can. Show your socks. Okay, and the transmission splash shield. Okay, you can see guys came out. Okay, just like that. So once we remove the engine's plus shield, the transmission's plus shield, we can actually get to the engine uh, shield guard pan, guys. Okay, so 13 millimeter socket, okay, and we pre loosened some of the bolts so we can, guys, save you time, not to watch us uh, take them forever. So, okay, you can see where the bolts are located. That's a very, very handy impact. I'll put the link in the description of the video below, guys. You can see where we got it from. It makes your wife so much easier. All right. And that's uh, that engine pan shield guard, guys. Okay, came out. You can see it just like that. So next we're going to remove the wheel. <coughs> if you guys have a secret locking bolt, we made a special video how to remove it. If you're missing your key, it takes just a few minutes, okay? And you're not going to damage your wheel. So check out the video on our channel. How to remove secret lock bolt on BMW, guys. So, okay, perfect. We're getting the tire off. You can see on the jack, on the lift here, by quick jack, it makes everything so much easier. I'll put the link where you can get yours from. Uh, it's amazing, amazing device, guys, for uh, house use. I'll definitely, definitely recommend it. So, we're going to get, guys, a hex key, number 17, 17 millimeter hex key for the CV axle now. Insert it good. Have one person, guys, okay, hold the brake inside. Okay, we have a person to hold the brake. Then we're going to... Uh, step on it, careful not to twist it sideways, and just, okay, get that bolt loose. Okay, we are ready, you can see it's loose. So, now we can continue, okay, with the next step, uh, which is, we need to go ahead and uh, remove that bolt all the way. Okay, get it out, and we'll see what else we need to do right after that. So, let's see how long the bolt is now. Usually, most of the vehicles are actually with a nut. The BMW, I know this BMW has a spring too. Audi, uh, Audi, Porsche, Volkswagen, many of those actually, guys, okay, use, use, you can see, board like that. You have the spring, also, you have a little O ring right here, and it goes like that, okay, on the CV axle, just like that. So we're going to turn the steering wheel, okay, since we have the car in the air on this side. And uh, we're going to get a big screwdriver, okay. Okay, I want to come underneath, guys. Okay, let me come underneath so I can show you what's happening. Give me just one second. 
Okay, perfect. I love that quick jack, so I can show you with a greater detail. If I come right here now, okay, I can pull that CV axle out, but I think it goes to the other side. Actually, let's try the other side. Okay, hop, hop, hop. Let's try now. Okay, perfect. It came out. That's it, right there. You can see, careful not to damage, okay, damage your teeth, so, no, actually, let's go ahead and see if we can come out of here this way, or we'll need to go another way now, can we turn more, uh, yep, okay, we can, so, I'm trying to see what's going to happen here, okay, the ABS sensor, nope, careful, 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 we got the cable for the ABS sensor, okay, let's go now, Okay, it looks like only only this one is in the way. Okay, this is the sway bar link that we need to remove on the bottom. Once we remove the sway bar link, I think it will come out because it will not be hitting anywhere after that. So let's go ahead and see if that's the case now. So the sway bar link, you can remove it from the bottom or the top. This is guys, okay, the sway bar link, okay, right there. You can see in the middle, it has a head for torques. That way, okay, you can hold it so it doesn't, okay, it doesn't uh, spin, guys, uh, because otherwise, okay, when you try to take that nut off, the stem can be spinning and you will not be able to take the nut off. So, uh, in that case, you have to hold it or you can remove it on the bottom, which is actually, in my opinion, it's easier because nothing is in the way. So, we'll see, okay, which side we're going to do, top or bottom. It doesn't matter, probably the top will be more convenient to uh, remove it. So let's go ahead and check it out now. So we're going to turn the steering wheel. Okay, a little bit. So that's a 16 millimeter. Yep, 16 millimeter. Let's get it loose. Okay, no, 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 nope, it's gonna slip, not like that. No, first you want to guys spray that now. Second, you want to get a socket to, to get it going. And then we're going to use the wrench. So interphone spray makes a huge difference, guys. We're going to go ahead and apply a little bit. Okay, perfect. We're going to get a 16 millimeter socket now, not a wrench, socket. And uh, you know how the wrench is a, tw a 12 point? Okay, like that. Okay, let me focus. I have a hard time focusing what is happening today. Yeah, you can see it has 12 points. If you get a six point socket, the chance for it to actually uh, damage that nut will be less likely because those can actually have quite a bit of corrosion on them sometimes. So, okay, perfect. Let's go ahead, get it loose now. And we might need to get the big tools, guys. Big tools in place because that thing is tight. So uh, what we're going to do, we'll get the big breaker bar and see if we can get it loose with it that way okay we'll have more leverage because if you have rust and hasn't been removed okay perfect it got loose so always try to use guys as i said six point socket at first okay let's see if the stem is spinning now yep the sp stem is spinning now if you guys have the car in the air on both sides you can see how the stem is spinning. If you have the car in the air on both sides, you will have less tension on the on the sway bar. And you'll be able to pull out the sway bar any easier. But if you jacked up only one side, okay, you have quite a bit of tension, so you need to use a pry bar to push, uh, to push actually the sway bar down so you can pull, okay, so you can pull that sway bar link out of the hole. You will see what we're talking about in just a minute. So, okay. We got the, uh, you can see we got the two, and now we're just going to go ahead, okay, and get it loose. So once we remove, uh, once we remove the nut, I'll show you what else we're going to do. Okay, it's almost there. You can see how it's getting loose. We will not have any tension because both of the tires are in the air, you can see. As I said, if you jack it up, you have quite a bit of tension on that sway bar link. So in that case, when you get the nut off, if you just jacked it up, 
get a sway bar, get a, get a pry bar, get it stuck here and put, put it on the sway bar and push down until you don't have any tension and pull the sway bar link out. Perfect. And you can see it just comes out okay like that and we can put it on the side. Those are the tools that we use. So now I will go underneath guys. Okay, I'll go underneath. Let me see now here and see what else we have so we're going to turn it gently keep the abs sensor cable out careful not to pinch your fingers okay one second okay no 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 okay i got stuck here a little bit ah the cable again okay let's get it out now okay let's turn a little bit more okay that's good now Okay, we didn't think about that part. Let's see now. We shouldn't leak, okay, we shouldn't leak any oil out, guys. Practically, we shouldn't, so hopefully everything is good and we'll be able to actually get that CV axle out now. So, this is, guys, the front differential on that BMW, you can see. That's the drain plug right here for the differential. Fewer plug is actually on top. Okay, right here, super inconvenient. But, uh, we'll see if we have oil, okay, from the differential once we remove that uh, front CV axle shaft. Now, if we leak oil out, it means that you have to drain the differential before you remove the CV axle. So, it's always a good thing, guys, to watch the video so you know what to expect. Otherwise, okay, otherwise, uh, you can end up having quite a bit of a mess. So, uh, we're going to go ahead, okay, I'm going to get a, a big punch flathead screwdriver okay and i'm going to uh, get it out in just a minute okay we have a pen to catch any oil okay if we have some so uh let me see now okay i'll need to position the camera okay and get it out now so let's see maybe with this one it will work better okay oh it's coming out okay let me show you how it started coming out okay hold it okay the front end hold it not to hit the hub because you damage your uh, cv boot oh oil started coming out guys so what that means it means that we had to drain our differential fluid <laughs> okay before we actually remove the cv axle so you know now for sure what you need to do we have a special video that explains how to drain it and we have a video that will explain how to feel it as well guys uh, you do that through this side through this wheel and uh, everything will be done but let's see how much oil we are going to leak out if it's going to be a wall or not so much now if you have the car jacked on the right side and you're doing the right cv axle uh, practically I think you will not leak much oil out okay because the car will be on one side you know higher than the other one okay you can see we leaked only a few drops guys so not much at all and that's the car perfectly perfectly leveled very very long axle very long axle it goes all the way through the oil pan to the front differential okay and let's see now if we will be able to get it out or I need to turn the steering wheel more so we turn a little bit more we're going to lift it up okay let's see if it's going to come out up oh, abs cable here got caught a little bit okay got stuck so let's see if we can turn just a little bit more so we don't damage bearing or anything like that oh okay lift it up a little bit okay and it comes out of there careful not to mess up your cv boot or anything like that you can see guys and your front cv axle just came out like that this is on the front right side guys okay out of the car so that's how you guys remove the cv axle shaft on the passenger side on bmw f30 f31 f34 uh, all-wheel drive guys uh, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out now if you need to buy a new one i'll share the part numbers and the link where you can get one from for a really good price so check it out uh, putting it together practically is in reverse order we took it apart if you need differential oil i'll put the link in the description as well thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time